It's October 23rd, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as nuclearproctologist.org. And you can find my videos in Fukushima presentations, A Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. And so this is an emergency broadcasting for Mexico. I'm going to play you a short Al Jazeera clip that uh, they just aired a few moments ago. Uh, this is very alarming. To say the least, 400 15, Dana Durford, also known as New So we are streaming live at the, on air. Hi, hi, Carla and uh, Black Op Secrets. Damn, here we go. It's hard to imagine what wind gusts up to 400 kilometers per hour would feel like, the damage it could cause. But meteorologists say hundreds of thousands of people are about to find out as a Category 5 hurricane comes ashore. It's hard to imagine what. We so 400 kilometers per hour, 248 miles per hour. This is unprecedented. We haven't even seen this in Hollywood movies. And this is the radiation from Japan. So if you took an isotope, you put it in a glass of water, it, over time it heats that water up. And so radiation never stops uh, putting out energy. Now, there's a 35-foot storm surge coming at Mexico and that coastline. The eye of this storm is massive. It's inconceivably big. Normally storms like this, the eyes are not very big, 10 miles or something. This thing is massive, inconceivable. Millions of people right now. Now what happens with 248 miles per hour winds? We've seen almost 200 miles an hour sustained winds in the Philippines a couple of years ago. 42 provinces taking out 30 million uh, coconut trees taken out and turned into projectiles and so everything around you that's getting destroyed is now turned into projectile if you're exposed you'll be chopped up with these projectiles we remember the footage from the Philippines at 200 mile an hour winds where the air was completely full of projectiles from the buildings and from the road and rocks and picket fences imagine sticking your hand out the window of a car at 250 miles an hour you'll snap your arm off and so imagine that a uh, typical hurricane can throw two by four through telephone poles. Imagine what 248 mile an hour unprecedented winds, sustained winds of 200 miles per hour. The storm surge is just like a tsunami. It's like a violent river. And yeah, kapow is one way to put it, says William. This is an outright out. Uh, outright emergency for anybody who got loved ones living on that coastline you need to contact them you need them to take shelter if they're right on the coastline that storm surge is 35 feet high that will drown every community on that coastline where that eye is to minimum and even left and right of the eye you'll see amazing storm surges storm surges will drown you storm surges are full of debris they will cut you they will pin you they will impal you. And so it's vital that at this very moment as that storm is coming ashore, that people understand this is not a normal storm, that you have to get out of the way, that you have to get out of the way, that this is not a game anymore, that this is truly happening to us on this planet. My goodness, we've never in entire history seen anything like this. This type of wind uh, will sweep away villages. The storm surge itself will wash away entire communities. That's exactly what we're going to see by tomorrow morning. That's what's happening right now. People are struggling in a life and death battle into something that should never be. This is the radiation, the massive amount of radiation constantly being released into the ocean from Japan, creating these supercell storms. The radiation is picked up through, through evaporation in the storms. The, the ocean is heated up. All the snow in the mountains in British Columbia, all, all the thousand-year-old ice is gone because the tritium doesn't allow the ice to crystallize. This is not a game. I repeat, it's not a game. Right now, we're, we are talking about the, our worst nightmares are coming true. And these storms are getting more powerful. They went from 185 mile an hour to 200 mile an hour to 248 mile an hour. These are unprecedented and they keep getting even Tonga was extraordinary and these storms have come off the Pacific or tracked over Japan 
the one that went over to the Philippines, there was two typhoons tracked over to Japan and then shot over to the Philippines and took out 42 provinces. These storms are a direct result of the radioactivity in the storm and the ocean itself and the unimaginable concentrations of it. So we're going to have to start dealing with this. We're going to have to start using our institutions to come up with solutions to get people out of the way. We have a new phenomenon on the planet. It's superstorms. And it's not supposed to be here in our lifetime. These types of winds are stuff that we modeled for Mars, for Pluto, not for Earth. There is no models out there of this kind of wind. This will strip the, the pavement right off the highways. This will sweep your loved one right out of your arms. You might find it funny because it's not happening to you, but if you got your loved one in your arms and the wind is just to tear that out of your arms because of radionuclides in that storm creating that kind of energy, this is shocking. This is what we get for not addressing it. And this is only going to get much worse. Chernobyl, think about Chernobyl in context. That Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. These reactors in Japan are three times the size and 100% meltdowns and they haven't stopped. They're hemorrhaging into the Pacific Ocean, hemorrhaging into the atmosphere, and all the storms that track over them turn into supercell storms. And right now in Mexico, right off the Pacific Ocean, come this thing at, and they knew this was coming. They just didn't want to tell anybody. They were hoping it was going to breeze itself down before it got ashore, and then they wouldn't have to report on it. 400 kilometers per hour. When was the last time you drove down the road at 400 kilometers per hour? 248 miles per hour. This will turn your cars into projectiles. They're going to hide a lot of this, but I mean, my goodness. My goodness. They buried it in the hopes it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't manifest, and here it is. If you got loved ones, if you got friends, if you if you got family, if you got people you don't even like that are gone down on vacation, contact your family and for goodness sakes, tell them to get off the coast. At least do that. At least get people off the coast. They knew what this was as it was coming ashore and they didn't want to tell people. Because they knew that the minute the word got out that this was a supercell store, storm of, of this kind of proportion, these kinds of wind, that they... There is no models to support it outside of radio, radioactive influences from Japan's melted reactors. This is the prediction of what would happen and it has manifested now repeatedly over the last four and a half years into these gigantic, massive, unimaginable, inconceivable, hideous monstrosities of storms that devastate entire areas. You know what they said in the Philippines after that storm? If, they said, well, what was the sense of rebuilding if we might have another storm like that? But throughout their entire generation, they have never had a storm like that. But those typhoons swept over Japan, picked up incredible amounts of radiation, and on that coastline, on that ocean as it was traveling, it increased its speed to 200 miles per hour sustained, 100 mile wide. This was a tornado. That's what's hitting them right now is a tornado, not a hurricane. Is the point I need to make to everybody that this is traveling faster than any tornado that you've seen in the in Americas. That this is a hundred mile wide tornado when a tornado shouldn't be any more than a mile wide. And this is faster than a tornado. This is coming off the ocean, bringing a 35 foot storm surge with it. And they left it for the last second before they warned people of its of how vicious this thing is. Because they were hoping it was going to blow itself down lower. I got news reports from a few hours ago saying it's only 115 miles an hour in America. Bearing it already. All the pro-nuclear TV stations are doing it. They're dropping the numbers down. Because they know where this came from. They know why this storm is so violent. They know why these storm surges are so high. They know why they weren't warned in advance. Because no one wanted to come out and say 400 kilometers per hour. That's insane. We've never experienced anything like this on our planet. It's unimaginable.
that this is happening and that the media is out there now getting ready to bury it. They already got their Wikipedia pages made up for 160 miles an hour winds. And then all the media and moral the next day become the strongest storm we've ever seen, 160 mile an hour winds. You watch it. You mark my words. That you will not hear this clip, I can guarantee yes, up you. To 400 kilometers per hour would feel like the damage it could cause, but meteorologists say hundreds of thousands of people are about to find out as a Category 5 hurricane comes ashore. It's hard to imagine what wind gusts up to 400. 400 kilometers per hour. 400. It's going to look like Japan. In lots of places down there, tell you what, it's going to be utter, just like Japan is utter carnage, completely destroyed. And so all this radiation that's coming out of Japan's three 100% melter reactors, right, you got Unit 1, it's 100% meltdown, it's three times the size of Chernobyl. Chernobyl is one third the size of Chernobyl, stopped after 10 days. This thing had fuel pools on the roof full of reactor cores that atomized and aerosol, ionized and radiated elements constantly, endlessly, like a perpetual motion machine into the Pacific Ocean for four and a half years. And this is it. What's happening now is exactly what we expected to happen. That's Unit 3. It's a 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. That's Unit 2, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. That model is a dispersal of radioactivity. Look at it falling into the Pacific Ocean. And that's heating up the ocean. That's melting all the glaciers in the mountains over the last couple of years here in Canada. And it's heating up that ocean constantly because it's, it's pumping out energy every second, non-stop, into that ocean. That's why we have nuclear waste sites. That's why we have nuclear waste repositories. It's because this stuff is so dangerous and maniacal. And this is Unit 4 at Fukushima. All of these are hemorrhaging directly into the ocean, into the atmosphere. And that's why this supercell storm, this Hurricane Patricia, which is actually a tornado Patricia, I put hurricane there because otherwise you wouldn't find a video. But it's actually a tornado. This is a tornado. 248 miles per hour. Do you know what that would do to the house you're sitting in right now? Do you got any idea what that will do to your to your nice comfort zone you have there right now? Everything you got on the table in front of you, including that big bag, is gone. Yeah, and that beer you were hanging on to, you can't hang on to that. Your little kid there gets swept out and out through the side of the building, turned into a projectile, and kill someone down the road. You gotta get out of the way. You gotta go find shelter away from the coastline, at least 35 feet above sea level. These storm surges will go miles inland. The wave comes in, another wave comes right behind it, and over it, another one right over that, another one right over that. And it'll look, it'll look just like that uh, tsunami that hit Japan. Hang on, I got a little video here I'll play in the background for you. And explain to you what a storm surge does to you. This is the tsunami in Japan. But it's a really good understanding of what a storm surge does when it comes in. So that's your first wave, but there's another wave that comes right in on top of that. Now, this is a tidal wave. But just hang on, give me one second, bear with me. Wait for the next little tiny bit here so I can explain what I'm trying to explain to you about a storm surge. The storm surge cannibalizes everything. It turns everything into a projectile. It takes everything and it rips everything else, all the infrastructure out. And if you're in any of them homes, you're going to be drowned. Remember Katrina, where there was over 800 senior citizens drowned in the attics of their houses because they, they didn't have anywhere to go, so they went up into the attics and they drowned it up there. I, have, I put up this video so you're not going to be one of those. If you're lucky enough to find this and catch this and you got the common sense to get out of the way because you're right in that path. This is 248 miles per hour. you got to get out of the way. you got to take your loved ones out of the way. You don't have a right to keep them there with this coming here. You don't have a right to take that chance. And it's not a chance. It's a death sentence to stay there. Get out of there. Get out of there right now. Pick up a handful of things and run. This thing is hitting your coastline. It's not slowing down. It's a hundred miles wide tornado. This is biblical. We've never seen this on our planet before. I'm begging you to do the moral and ethical thing to, as to any even this storm surge that's going to come in on top of it. 
with these sustained wins is going to do exactly what you see there. We've seen that in the Philippines. We've seen that in Tonga. We've seen that in the last couple of years everywhere on the coastline, these storm surges showed up. Get out of the way. That's all I'm saying to you. I'm begging you to listen to me. If you know anybody there, phone them up. It's not a game. This is not a joke. I know people out there in the comment section making jokes about this. People are gonna people are losing their lives right now. Millions of people right now don't get it. Because the media just waited till the very last second and then come out four hundred kilometers an hour winds sustained. They didn't want to they didn't want to fear raise the fear and they knew it was coming in. And left it for the last second and said, Okay, you gotta get out of the way. Well, I'm here to tell you, please, get out of the way. All your friends, all your families, phone them up and tell them. There's nothing on the planet like it. Get out of the way. Your home is not worth your life. It's not worth your children's life. Hugs for everybody. I just wanted to put out a quick reminder that this is not a game. That this now can be expected throughout the coastlines of Pacific Rim nations. That this is unprecedented. That we were having the event because of the radiation in the Pacific Ocean from Japan's melted reactors. It's time to do something about those melted reactors because the storms in the near future are going to be not 250 miles an hour, but 500. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Dana Durnford, beautiful girl by Dana on YouTube, the nuclearproctologist.org on the internet. Hugs for everybody.